Hey, what's up? This is Jason Drone. Today we're going to build some DIY gallery shelves. Super simple build. It's one by fours and one by twos. And we're going to go through, cut it up, stand it up, and you will get something that looks like this. So these bookshelves were going in our son's room. Uh, we have done a lot of these. In the media room, which you see here, this is just a way to showcase books, showcase DVDs or whatever. So the first step is measuring and cutting the wood. Like I said, these are one by fours and one by twos. Um, so really, really simple builds, but you just need to know basically how wide you want the bookshelves to go. Then cut uh, the one by four, two one by fours and a one by two. And it's really all that's needed for the, the gallery shelves. You can see here we're using a DeWalt saw, which is awesome love this saw um you know for the most part it gives you real exact cuts uh, it's sitting on a workbench that we built on uh, the other side of this workbench is actually a router table which you can see in this shot right here and sebastian being crazy as he often is um but you're gonna have a bunch of wood like i said one by fours one by twos are gonna make up this build we use gorilla glue on most of our stuff course we have tape measure you know uh, and then a shot of the saw oftentimes we'll run the boards through on a build like this we'll run the boards through a table saw and make sure the edges are nice and clean um, now sanding is the next piece uh, the project doesn't require a lot of sanding. You know, it's not like you gotta get crazy with it, but um, you still wanna make sure to sand out any of the imperfections in the wood. Now, assembly is equally easy. A little bit of wood glue on a corner. You match up, you know, uh, two of the one by fours. So one is sitting on top of the other. What I'm doing here is giving myself really just a, a easy edge to nail, something that I can get to quick. Here, we're gonna go through, nail it together. Uh, it's just glue and nails, there's no screws. Well, we didn't put we used screws in it. Um, like I said, we built a lot of these things, never had to screw them down, never had a problem with strength and support. The only thing we'll screw is we'll screw the shelf into the wall, which you'll see in a minute. And then the one by two sits on top, so um, it gives you a ledge. So whatever you, know, you put on the shelf isn't necessarily gonna fall off. And here we got a couple, uh, I think we built six of these guys. Two of them we're going to use in this project, and then uh, four of them we're going to paint and put in a different room. So I'll probably record another video on the painting piece of it. Now, Sebastian's being a little crazy with Mage, and of course, starts messing around with the air compressor. And then this is his idea of uh, cleaning off his truck because of course there's sawdust all over it. Now, foam brushes are how we stain. So we're using a Kona Rust-Oleum wood stain here and basically just going through, letting it sit for, this stuff is pretty wicked, so we're letting it sit for like two minutes and then um, wiping it off with a towel. Um, the front, obviously the fronts, everything that is visible is, you, you gotta stain. Now we have Sebastian here who is luckily staining the back. So, you know, whatever. Um, and then we stain the bottom just in case, you know, you're laying on the floor <laughs> or whatever. Uh, but anyway, so go through, stain the whole thing, um, wipe it down and then let it dry. So I did Bigger. two coats of stain on this and then we did some polyurethane, uh, Rust-Oleum Ultimate Polyurethane um, 
coating. So it gives a little bit of a shiny look. Uh, typically for polyurethane, we don't really do, you know, shiny, too shiny at least, but uh, this is what I had. So we went through and polyed the entire project. Now we're gonna go through and install. So here, it was just two spots that we were gonna put it in above the nightstands. So we go through, uh, find the studs, so we don't have to put any anchors in. And um, we use a line leveling tool that we actually bought for a different project. We will, uh, we install wainscoting in the entryway. So I'll show some clips of that, but um, here, installing it, screwing it into the stud. It was um, two screws in that one, two screws in one stud there, one screw in each stud on the other side. And uh, then Sebastian put in his books where he wanted them, which was pretty cool. Nice, that's a good book for right there. Yeah, that's a good book. Now this particular one, the book uh, that he chose, we had to move the pictures up. So uh, the book was a little bit high, um, but we wanted to make it match the other side. Now I have done quite a few of these shelves, mostly because I love them for our media room. I love them for, you know, just holding books or DVDs or whatever. So, all right, so now that you've seen how to build DIY gallery shelves, go ahead and do it. And if you like this video, like it, share or um subscribe to the channel It'd be great we got a lot of stuff coming to you and uh, i'll talk to you soon all right thanks